Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday, it means we are still using Mermel, because Mermel's haven't got kicked off yet. I swear to God, like Mermel's. You never want to go. This deck will not die. <laughs> so, uh, I'm planning on replacing it soon, but for right now, no. So, yeah. I'm gonna watch this guy play with himself for a cool minute. So, enjoy. Enjoy. So, I know, you guys are probably saying, like, Daniel, what the hell with that title? What the hell with that title? Alright, let me explain. Well, I watched this guy completely play. Wow. Wow, he's gonna summon Granol and everything. This guy is going to town on himself. Well, this is fun to watch. <laughs> Still not done. Alright, keep going. Keep going. I, I didn't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! anyway. So let me explain the title. You're probably thinking like, what do you what what do you mean you can't read? Like you play Yu-Gi-Oh! You have to read to be able to thank you. Uh, Daniel, I've known you for years now. You you can read, Daniel. Is that what I mean? What I mean is that I can't read textbooks. Like I can't. I can't I try. I try so hard and I can't and it's not something that all of a sudden just recently happened all of a sudden and all of a sudden I can't you know re I can't read anymore. It's, it, this has always been happening to me I, my entire life that I cannot read. And well, one thing that you guys might know about me is that I have the attention span of a goddamn cantaloupe. Like, I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not that bright in the head. I'm not that bright in the head. Um, I want to send infantry because I want to destroy that card. You can go ahead and do something if you want. And go ahead, you got some kind of response? I said, you exasperated your resources. Like, I don't even know what the hell you did. You had pretty good play. You had grand on shit, all that failed, and you just went ahead. Why? I mean, you'll still get to summon your damn monster. I don't like scraps. I don't like how they touch themselves. I don't like that back. Wait on a response from you, sir. You want to negate my effect? That's fine. I just won't get my controller, but I will still get my pop with infantry. And that's all I care about right now. Hell yeah. Fuck your factory. You know what's really gonna suck? Shit you not, he's literally just gonna get back his fucking, uh... His fucking, uh... Scrap thing. His scrap golem. Nope, nope, he's gonna scrap storm it, so instead of me destroying it, he wants to destroy it. Okay. Okay. So I'm guessing that you made yourself miss timing because you drew the card. Good job. Good job, you should've just took the destruction on the chin, but instead you wanted to draw a card and make yourself miss timing, so it's cool. It's cool, I uh, totally don't mind you doing that. Uh, go ahead. I'll take the duel slow. Uh, so, literally, a majority of my classes, su not surprisingly, I'm in college, required me to read textbooks. No surprise there, correct? And I try. I try. And, and definitely, it's been worrying my, me my entire life that I'm just going to run into a class where I blatantly have to just read out the text to pass the class. And it scares the, the shit out of me. The, the thought of that even being a possibility because I don't want to have to run into that problem ever But I'm just kind of worried for myself that Because I can't read because I have the attention span of a damn cantaloupe and because literally when I try to sit down and read the textbook distractions and my mind wanders and and it goes in my head and out my head like it's literally just a conveyor belt just going whoop out the back of my head now, I can sit, I can literally sit here and read a page off a textbook. Go some, do, go do something for like maybe like five, ten minutes. You'll ask me, what did I read? I don't know. I don't know. And it's because and it's, it's, it's not engaging. It's because I don't care. That's the problem. Because I don't care. No, if it was Yu-Gi-Oh, for example, of course I'm going to read the card because I care what's, what, I'm, what I'm reading, you know? 
Now, depending on whether I read the cards or not, can equal me winning or losing the duel. So there, it's very important and very vital that I read my cards. So I care about what I read. I watch anime, Japanese anime. It's you know, it's subbed. I read it. I watch Kamen Rider. That's subbed. I read it because I care. But when I don't care and and I'm not concerned, and when the text is literally reading at me instead of reading with me, I can't do it. I can't do it. My, like, my, my education book that I gotta read for intro to education, it's dry as hell. It's dry as hell, it's boring, I don't wanna read it, and it's lame. I stopped deck into that MST. I probably saved your ass, but it's cool. Alright, look. You can take the duel slow. I'm up on resources, so why the fuck not? Let's go ahead and make Leo. Because Leo's awesome. One of the cool things that you could do with the Genix controller. You got that bottomless? Hell yeah, you got that bottomless. That's fine. That is fine. You destroy a face up card. Alright, so. There's not much I want to do with you. Go ahead. Of course you had that you had that bottomless. So you definitely wanted to go ahead and, and hit me. You wanna get another scrap factory? That's cute. Mm-hmm. So I'm tell you right now, you are not going to be relying on luck to beat me. Nope, another scrapyard. All right. Card seems kind of cloggy, but all right. So it's pretty clear what I'm going to be doing. I think that I think this might actually be a game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I guess I should thank you for destroying my Royal Decree, because if you didn't destroy my Royal Decree, I wouldn't be able to use this Abyss Fear that I'm getting, so. Uh, nope, my medals are still good. I'm just getting kind of bored of them. I don't mind dueling with them, I'm just getting kind of bored with them. They take a little bit different kind of strategy, so that's uh, 48, so 48. I need, like, 12 more damage, and I got it right here, so let's game. So I depleted your resources and smack that ass. Whoosh. Smack that ass. Let me go get another door in. One more. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Did I just say smack that ass? Whoosh. I did. Sometimes I really do not listen to what I'm saying. And then you guys make fun of it in the comments. And you're like, oh, that was so funny when you said this. And I'm like, I said that? Like, I swear to God, sometimes I am just... I am just a weird guy. Is that... You have no back row, so either you're bad or you're using something sacky, and you're saying good luck, like, you're using something sacky? Okay. Well, you're clearly going to depend on something, but with no extra back? Like, what are you using? You use that? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's fucking Kleeput. No, that's fine. Save the damn MST. Definitely save the fucking MST for, uh, for the tool. That's a given. So, yay, Kleeput. The deck that got taken off of Daylight Duels. Definitely. I'm cool. I'm cool. I can take the duel slow. Pretty obvious that you're just gonna go activate tool. I thought you were gonna actually have an interesting uh, pendulum deck. Nope, it's just quick play, so. Get that bitch out of my fucking face. Yep. Get that fucking piece of shit tool out of my face. So what are those recklesses or wiretaps or maybe skill drain? Skill drain? Anyway, I'm just saying I just I just can't read that education textbooks dry as hell and we take quizzes on it, you know. Actually, uh you know, Wednesday taking a quiz on it, so on chapters one and two. I read chapter one and it was boring and dry as hell, I really don't remember. And uh chapter two I kinda skimmed it. So not looking too good for me, guys. Definitely not. Uh, I need a push. I need a push. It's freaking, it's freaking uh, 
quickly, but I need a push, but... Just fuck. If I summon you, I can discard Tius. Discard Pike. You know, discard Pike. Because A, I need to push. I need to push. So, I'm probably gonna get skill drained, but I need to push. I already got the one that destroys face up cards, so that's not important. Undyne can work, you know, I'll take Undyne. Pretty much that's the same exact thing, except I don't have to neg from my hand, so that's good. But I need to push. I'm going against Cleepunch. You need to make sure that you hinder their plays and push. That's how you win against Cleepunch. If you do that, if you if you hinder their plays and push, you can beat them. Especially with the reliance on tool, you can beat them. You got you drew into another tool, or something to search for tool, or tool itself. So, yeah, good luck with me on that. Uh, my women's literature book, literally, I don't know what the teacher really wants from me. So, like, when I'm reading, I'm not 100% sure. Alright, so here comes the pendulum summon. Yeah. Why, wait, why run trampolines if you don't have an extra deck? I mean, you know, that's kind of the point of running trampolines is you have an extra deck. And let me guess, tribute all three of them for killer? I don't understand the point. If you don't have an extra deck, then what's the point of trampolines? You could XC right now, but you don't... I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not too worried right now. Okay. I have no problem having more ammo in my hand. So wait, let me get this straight. You just tributed your sh for Shell, who was your 9, so now if I get rid of your shit, you don't have anything to Pendulum Summon. Uh, I'm sorry, I know Cleepunk's gonna be a pretty good deck, but it takes skill. It takes a little bit of skill. I know, you fucked up bad. You fucked up bad. It's okay. It's okay. You, you messed up. You pretty clearly messed up. It's pretty evident that you messed up. I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, discard from that. No, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty evident that you don't know how to play the stack. It's pretty evident. Mhm. Mm Rip my life points out of my fucking shit. Oh. Of course you had the limiter removal. I love it. I love it. Of course you did. I was about to get your ass too. So you're lucky. You're lucky you had that limiter removal. Of course you did. Anyway, I'm. I don't have the time for another duel. I gotta get ready to go to school, college. So let me go ahead and just wrap up my story. So anyway, my women's literature book, I, I really, I don't know what the teacher wants me to read. Like, I kind of, the thing is, is that it's not a textbook, but more of a book that makes you think. It's more of a psychological book. So he'll ask you psychological things, you know, he'll ask you profounding things. So literally, I kind of just flipped through the book. I kind of read, we're in, we're in the part of the Virgin. So I kind of read, you know, glimpsed over the Virgin. So I got enough material to at least talk about it. And we're going to watch a movie. So that's kind of, that isn't hard. Uh, women's studies. Women's studies, we take notes in class, and then she wants us to read, like, this whole bunch of text, like, text, like, she wants us to read, like, you know, 20 to 25 pages of text each week, and I, I can't. I read it, and it was dry as hell. I literally felt like the book was reading at me instead of with me, and I, I, I got bored. I got bored, so if we're literally taking quizzes on the, on the, on the book, I, I'll fail. I'll fail. I am not, I am, I am not a visual learner. I'm an auditory learner. You know, I, I'll do much better when, you know, you tell me what I'm supposed to be writing down and, and I'm supposed to remember, you know? I did great in my history class because that was an auditory class. When I have these visual class where you throw this fucking textbook at me and you're like, you're like, here, Daniel, read this fucking textbook. I, I can't even. I can't. I can't. 
I'm, and I and I feel like it's I'm I'm a fail these classes and I and like I said it's been plaguing me in my entire life and usually I've been finding ways to get around it and you know and I, I say it wasn't I don't I don't say it's laziness because I try I say it, I I I just I can't pay attention I my mind is just I'm too I'm too thoughtful in my mind my mind can't doesn't want to be tied bound by this boring ass jargon it wants to be entertained and. You reading at me is not entertaining me. So, because I'm bored, because my mind is bored, and you're not entertaining me, you're not keeping me engaged, my mind's gonna wander. So I can literally be reading the textbook, and my eyes will skim the words, but then my brain will be thinking, well, ooh, I wonder who, I, who I'm gonna duel against in, uh, in Daily Duels, why I'm and why. And the next thing you know, my eyes have glanced over this paragraph, but my mind hasn't retained nothing from the paragraph. So what's the point of reading if I can't retain what I read? I don't know. I don't know. That's the question. That is the question. <sighs> oh, yeah. Um, uh, and that's why the title is that. Because I can't read. Psychologically, I can't read. Physically, I can read. You know? I can read. Save replay. Ooh. Surrender. It will mastery. Yeah, I can read. Uh, I can read. It just... Psychologically, if I'm not engaged, I can't read. So... They'll probably downfall me in this upcoming semester. But, hey. What you gonna do? Alright, well, I actually have to call this one short, uh, I actually have to head off to, well, I actually start, have to start getting ready to go off to college for one day, because I'm actually courting this on Wednesday, because, uh, Tuesdays are my, sh Tuesdays are all my TV show days, so, literally from, like, 6 o'clock to, like, 10 o'clock, I was just watching TV shows, so, yeah, and I went to bed, well, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to bed early and wake up, go to bed early, wake up early, and finish my recording, so, yeah, I gotta go ahead and get this video edited and rendered and uploaded for you guys, and uh, I gotta get ready to go to college on Wednesday where I will probably be taking a quiz on the material that I didn't really read. I skimmed it. I didn't really read it. I said, if we, there really, if you're supposed to, sometimes, you know, in class, you're supposed to read the chapter and then you go over it in class. I can probably do well off of just going over in class because I can generally retain it because, you know, I'm an auditory learner. But if it's literally just read this, take a quiz, read this, take a quiz, read this, take a quiz, I'll fail. And, and, and it's happened to me in the past before with other previous classes. Where, you know, you just give me this quiz on the reading. I don't know. I can't remember. Even if I read it, I can't remember. It's a, a so much goes on with my life, and my and my mind is so and so busy thinking that I kind of just push it out. My mind just push it out. Like, look, this isn't really that important. Whatever, you know. But oh well. So hopefully I'll be able to keep my grades up. Like I said, I'm not trying to be a college A student, but you know I at least want to pass the class, and I hope that you know me. Not doing well in these quizzes. Like I've probably said, I'm a BS master. I'm, I am a BS master. Like I could BS for the, to the death done. Like I said, but my fucking, I know that I'm gonna have an easy ass time in my women's literature book because that's all psychological thinking. That's all you know thinking. I can literally open this book, read two sentences, and come up with a an engaging conversation with my teacher enough to even make it look like I read. So. That's probably gonna be easy, but literally, when you are testing me on the subject matter as a whole and you know specific things in the book, I don't remember. Yeah. So. Oh well. All right. So. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, of Daily Duels. I love how I use my rolls on the first episode get beat by dragon rollers, and then I use my rolls and I lose the clean plate. Like it's a it's a circle. It's the circle of life. It's the circle of Yu-Gi-Oh. So eventually, Mermos will be taken off. I just don't know when. Like I said, Mermos are an easy deck that I don't mind using. And uh, I'm just, I don't even know when I'm going to have time to start working on how to play DDD. So I'm not even sure when that will be introduced on Daily Dose. But for right now, it's going to be Mermos. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow uh, using Pendulum Chaos Shinies. I totally changed around the deck. I got inspired by both Stanzi and Lunar to try something new with the deck. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. But, uh,. Definitely, I, I changed the deck because it was not working last time. So, I am not going to be um, attacking with Tago anymore on Thursday. Tago is moved to Saturday, so you'll see him then. But, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Daily Duels. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Pendulum Chaos Dragons. And actually, Pendulum Chaos Dragons. I took out the Mythic Dragons. No more that. Pendulum Chaos Dragons. Thanks for watching.